Hey guys, I'm about to dunk the boat on the water, but before I do, I wanted to uh, help answer a few questions I've had about how to make the auto settings on your zip weight controller work best for you. So there's two main things that you have to do for your zip weight to function in auto mode correctly. That's one, mount it correctly, and two, that's establish a baseline where your boat is in its happy place and the auto controllers are always trying to get you back to that happy place. So let's start with mounting, which is which I have my controller mounted right here, just to the left of the steering wheel. And the main installation area you see with a zip wake is that they're mounting it beyond five degrees of center line. You don't want the, this is mounted on a gimbal here, but you can see that it's, it, it, you know, if I were to just push it forward, it would be flush with the dash. So you, that's right on center line. That's right where I want it. And you don't want to deviate too much beyond that because you could, you could disrupt the roll and how it, how it perceives the roll of a boat if this controller is at, is at too severe of an angle. So mounting location is critical. Now to establish a baseline, you're gonna go in and you're gonna reset the auto pitch and the auto roll function. It, you can do it in two seconds. I'll show you how to do it. But the way that I found my happy spot on the boat is what I call it, is you know if you didn't have the zip wakes installed in on your boat, you could just take a bubble level like this, go out on the water, Get your boat running at a comfortable speed where your trim level is right. You feel like that's kind of the clip and the posture that your boat would you would want it at under a normal cruising condition with the with a normal amount of chop that you experience. And that's going to differ for everybody. But once you find that sweet spot where you're running, just put this on the deck like I did right here and take note of where it's at. So mine, for example, I was nose up about five degrees and I do want a perfectly level boat so you can see that I've I situated my boat on the on the boat ramp here so that it is perfectly level on the horizontal plane but slightly nose up so now that I'm set up where I want my boat to be now it's just a matter of going into the settings here I'll hit menu and I will go down to reset pitch and roll yes and yes hit back now the reset pitch and roll is then now I've established my baseline this is mounted in the proper location now what I would end up doing is going into auto setup and this is something that you're going to be doing on the water and I'll take you out in the water and I'll show you what I mean so this curve here shows you can see well I'm in knots right now but you can see that for every speed increment that you have along the bottom it shows how much interceptor is going to be deployed in the water at that given speed so right now I have these interceptors working for me in auto about to 40 miles an hour or so. Uh, they're, not, they're not a whole lot in the water right there if they don't need to be. I just That way you can run efficiently and clean. But if you need help in that mid-range, that's where this auto system really does well on this Yarcraft. And so I would, I would focus on manipulating this pitch curve until it feels right and you feel like you're getting enough tabbing but not too much for the running attitude that you prefer. So in order to edit this, it's simple. You basically, you're gonna go into the speed range that you, that you wanna focus on. So for example, right here, and I would hit edit, and I can adjust up or down for that speed range, how much interceptor I would demand under, under normal conditions. And once you have your pitch and roll curve set up, or your pitch control set up, you can go back Activate the auto settings by pushing that. So now auto pitch and auto roll are on. If you only wanted to focus on keeping the pitch activated in auto, you just push auto one more time. That deactivates the auto roll. Now you have manual control over which corner of the boat you want to pick up. And it's still trying to keep the boat in that happy level running attitude that you established when we set that baseline. The other thing you can do is when you're in full auto mode, depending on the load that you have that day, the direction that you're running, you know, the conditions that you're running in, you can adjust up or down and offset that baseline based on how you want that boat to run. But the closer you can get to an optimal running attitude from the get-go when you do your initial pitch and roll reset, the less you really have to mess with that. And most people that are using that auto feature, they just want to push a button and let the boat tab itself. Now let's go out on the water and I'll show you how they're working at different speeds. Okay, so let's do our first takeoff here. 
and you can see all of a sudden the interceptors have deployed down to almost 100 percent senses it senses my speed and it knows that for that first part of the acceleration it wants these down all the way to ensure that you get on plane as fast as possible once you're on plane based on how you have that auto pitch curve set up it's going to continue to decrease and decrease and decrease don't forget also that if you it, on a calm day like this you don't even really need these in the water at all but uh, on, a, on a you know given the conditions that you're in if you need to increase the amount of tabbing that you're feeling or decrease you simply can roll this forward to offset it more or decrease it to give it a little relief same with the you know same with the roll more less so keep that in mind right now I'm just kind of set in the happy medium of everything and if if you push auto and it's just in auto and that's your mainstay of running and you're just not feeling it's it maybe it's grabbing too much water or you're just or you want a little less or a little bit more control at that given speed go into your settings and adjust that auto pitch curve and once you do that you're gonna fine-tune this thing so that you basically just push a button and enjoy the auto settings so let's get on plane here plane immediately and as I trim up and increase my speed and you're seeing the you're seeing a change in real time here and as my speed continues to increase it's backing off more and more and more as I just continue to run more and more efficiently so now Let's imagine I have a really big passenger, or I've changed the load of the boat so that it's, it's, it's leaning a little bit differently. All you need to do, if you really wanted to, you can disable auto roll. Now it's in manual. And I can manipulate the leveling of the boat manually, but it's also controlling the pitch of the boat automatically. So my trim is set up exactly where I want it to be, then I'm good to go. And you can even take a look right here out birds I've got the perfect running pitch right there five degrees I'm pretty level I can um, I can change my roll a little bit that's right where I want to be that's perfect so there you have it push a button and control how your boat likes to run. Just find that happy spot and get it mounted in the right spot to begin with. I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'd be happy to answer whatever I can. One more or less thing to, to watch is since auto pitch is still enabled, as I slow down, notice it's or increasing the amount of interceptor back in the water so that I never came off plane at a funky attitude. I just came down nice and level, just how I wanted to. It's a really cool system. You'll enjoy them. If you have a buddy with Zipwakes, make sure to get out there with them and experience what they can do for that particular boat. I think you'll be impressed. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you later. See ya.